Hello techies, welcome to DevOps lessons. My name is Amir, I'm a senior programmer. In this session, I will make you to understand what is DevOps and why DevOps is needed. DevOps is a collaboration and understanding culture between software development and operations. DevOps is a combination of two teams. One is development team and operations team. Before starting to learn about the DevOps culture, we will know about SDLC and its drawbacks. SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. SDLC also called Software Development Process. The purpose of the SDLC is to deliver high quality product. SDLC is a framework to define tasks at each and every step in software development process. SDLC is a process followed and used by the software organization. SDLC consists of different phases. One, planning or requirement gathering. Two, analysis. Three, design. Fourth, implementation. Fifth, testing and integration. Six, deployment and maintenance. I will explain you each and every phase one by one in detail. And then we will know what is the issues and what are the drawbacks in the SDLC. First of all, first one, planning or requirement gathering. In this initial phase, supervisors, partners and clients will undergo the requirement specification and come up with functional requirement specification that is nothing but FRS, business requirement specification BRS, client customer relation, uh, requirement specification, user requirement specification, business design document. It will come up with all these requirement documents. It is not necessary that every organization will follow the same specifications. Every organization will have their own specifications. Now we'll see about analysis. In analysis phase, we'll gather all the requirements such as human resources, hardware, software required to accomplish the particular project successfully. And also we will list out and analyze what is required for the project. Next one, design. Design phase is about to bring down all the knowledge of requirements, analysis and design of the software project. Design phase is, a, is the product of the last two like input from the customers and the requirement gathering. It has two steps. One is HLD, high level de design. Another one LLD, low level design. HLD gives the architecture of the software product to be developed and is done by architects and senior developers. Low level design. It is done by the senior developers and also it's described how each and every feature in the product should work and how every component should work. The outcome from design phase is high level documents and low level document which works as an input to the next phase. The next phase is nothing but implementation or the development. In development of SDLC, developers of all levels like seniors, juniors, freshers involved in this phase. And their actual development begins on building the software and start writing the code for the product. The implementation of design begins concerning writing code. Developers must follow the coding guidelines described by their management and programming tools like compilers, interpreters, debuggers, etc. These tools are used to develop and implement the code. The outcome of this development phase is source code document, nothing but SD, SCD and the developed product. Now we'll see about the next phase that is testing and integration. In this testing and integration phase, we test for the defects and deficiencies of the particular product. We fix those issues until the product meets the original specification. In this test and integration stage, we test all the defects and we'll fix them 
and it will send to the testing manually and there they will be testing this product they either test the software manually or using automation tools depending upon the process defined by the stlc nothing but software testing life cycle and ensure that each and every component of the software works fine once the qa make sure that the software is error free that is nothing but zero bugs free it goes to the next stage which is integration and then there they are going to in integrate different different components of the product and then again they will test it the outcome of this testing and integration phase is the quality of the product and the test artifacts next one is the deployment and the maintenance after successfully testing and integrating the product the product is delivered or deployed to the customer for their uses deployment is done by the deployment or the implementation engineers or the software engineers scs related to the deployment once when the customers start using the developed system then the actual problems will come up and needs to be solved from time to time fixing the issues found by the customer comes in the maintenance phase 100% testing is not possible because the way of the tester test the product is different from the way of the customers use the product maintenance should be done as per the sla's nothing but service level agreement let's start using what we got often this part of the sdlc process happens in a limited way at first depending upon the feedback from end users more adjustments can be made once the software is certified and no bugs or errors are stated then it is deployed now i hope you have learned about the different different phases of the sdlc now we will see what are the various sdlc models there are various software development life cycle models defined and followed by software development process these models are referred as software development process models each process model follows a series of steps unique to its type to ensure success in the process of the software development they are the most important and popular sdlc models followed in the industry one is waterfall model iterative model spiral model v model big bang model agile scrum methodology we will talk about these models in the different session now we will see why devops needed now if you observe four five six steps that is development testing and integration and deployment and maintenance phase before devops the development and operations team worked in a complete isolation testing and deployment were isolated activities done after build hence they consumed more time than actual build cycles team members are spending a large amount of time on their uh, you know testing deploying and designing instead of building the project manual code deployment leads to human errors in production coding and operation teams have their separate timelines and are not in sync causing further delays and also there are too many monitoring tools required to monitor all these kind of things now we'll see the what what devops can resolve and what is devops as i explained devops is the collaboration and understanding culture between software development and operations devops is the combination of two teams that is development team and operation team devops is not a software tool nor a methodology it's a group of concepts the main goal of devops is to improve collaboration between all stakeholders from planning through delivery and automation of delivery process in order to it will improve the deployment frequency achieve faster time to market lower failure rate of new releases shorten lead time between fixes 
improve mean time to recovery these are all the features that are going to be providing by the devops now i hope you understand why the people are looking for the devops why it is having a good boom in the market now we will learn about the devops life cycle devops is a deep integration between development and operations understanding devops is not possible without knowing the devops life cycle here is a brief information about the devops life cycle there are different different stages are available in devops one is development second testing third integration fourth deployment fifth monitoring i will explain to you one by one about these stages in development stage of the devops we are going to develop a software that takes place constantly in this phase the entire development process is separated into small development cycles this benefits devops team to speed up software development and delivery process second stage testing qa team uses tools like selenium to identify and fix the bugs in the new piece of code third integration stage in this stage new functionality is integrated with the prevailing code and testing takes place continuous development is only possible due to the continuous integration and testing now we'll see about the deployment stage in this stage the deployment process takes place continuously it is performed in such a manner that any changes made any time in the code should not affect after the functioning of high traffic of the website now the final phase monitoring in this phase operations team will take care of the inappropriate system behavior or bugs which are found in the production i hope now you understand about the devops and devops life cycle in the next session i will show you what are the tools we are using and their purpose in devops i hope now you understand what are the drawbacks of the sdlc and what are the main goals of the devops and and we have learned the devops life cycle thank you for watching if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day